Shalom, call Hello Yom La, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Rekakadash, double honors to the apostles and those great millstone, and the singers to hope collect around the world. May Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh continue to protect and guide our steps through our East Turbulent times. This is your brother Nadav, coming at you with another one. Okay, and today's lesson is all these curses. Okay, once again, all these curses. That's right. And this uh is pertaining to the curses uh that's written in uh the scriptures, okay? Starting off in Deuteronomy uh twenty eight, uh fifteen on down, sixteen on down, Sulakia. It's gonna be put upon our enemies, starting off with Esau Edom, these so called white people, okay? They're gonna be played with the same curses, but double, okay. We thought our uh our captivity was uh um uh, uh, uh uh, Salaki so with bad. Just wait till uh, they receive theirs. Okay, they're gonna receive no mercy because they show no mercy. All right, I'm gonna get the definition of a curse. A prayer that evil or harm will fall one. Co assignment of a person to an evil fate. Okay, uh, set of imperfections. Those curses. Okay, the formula read in churches four times a year. Uh, setting for various offenses which entail automatic excommunication of the offender also the excommunication so imposed all right and that's hopefully uh y'all by shim y'all by shim y'all shot uh cutting out the uh nation of israel from their uh heritage you know what i'm saying our power ultimately because we didn't know who our power was we know we Probably had a high power, but we didn't know that it was our power and the true names of that power. Okay, the evil which has been invoked upon one that causes severe trouble. That's man. You can't get no better than that, man. Good night. Okay, um, let's see what we got down here. Profane or obscene uh, expression usually of surprise or anger. All right. And appeal to some unnatural power to inflict evil on someone or some group. And that's what Yahweh did, man. He inflicted that, <laughs> man, some serious pain on the nation of Israel. You Israelites, so called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. So much so that we've been called a proverb. We, we look at uh, uh, being scum of the earth when it's the other way around. These damn Edomites, these so called white people, man, these are the scum of the earth, the fires of the earth, okay? An evil spell, okay, something causing misery or death. Man, a severe affliction. That's right, because we were tormented. We're still being tormented because we're the chosen line, okay, uh, uh, that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh chose for himself, okay? You Israelites, okay? Jacob, uh, 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 Salakia, uh, uh, Judah. In Israel, we're just talking about the 12, 12 tribes, okay? All right, first we're going to get to the run uh, 30 and 7, okay? All right, all right. Come, and the Lord, Yahweh. Thy power will put all these curses upon thy enemies, starting with Esau, Edom, okay, and these other nations that had a hand in our uh, captivities, okay, these uh, these so-called Arabs, which are Israelites, built the slave ships, so yeah, hey, <laughs> they're going to be a, a, a curse too, but not as uh, much as Esau, okay, but they're definitely going to receive some curses, and, and on them that hate thee. It's persecuted thee. That's right. And open to my Esau, even these so-called white people, because they persecuted the uh, children of Israel, and they're still persecuting us. Because Yah Bashim Yah Shai uses these uh, Edomites as his whipping stick, mainly towards the two-thirds of our people, the uh, rebellious of our people. That's why they get shot down in the streets, you know, man, without justice. That's ultimately uh, the wrath of Yah Bashim Yah Shai right there. Judgment. That's why it's important to fear him. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Uh, all right. This is going to get numbers. 
Okay, at 14. Come, huh. and now behold, I go unto my people. Okay, which you're uh, the, the hopefully lit in these times. Okay, the Israelites. All right, come therefore, and I will advise thee what this people shall do to thy people in the latter days. That's right, and that's ultimately uh, the prophets, they the uh, prophet, uh, apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Okay, and the men of like doctrine that uh, brings out and uh, advise our people okay on what who their enemies is and what they what they need to do in order to flee their enemy okay by not following the ways of their enemies okay and return to their power ultimately that they may be saved at the house shall second coming okay all right next we got uh isaiah 10 and 12 Con, wherefore it shall come to pass that when the Lord Yahweh Shai had performed his whole work upon Mount Zion and on Jerusalem, which is talking about you Israelites, I will punish the fruit of the stout heart, the proud heart, the king of Assyria. There's another uh, way uh, translated to these Edomites, because they are the modern day Assyrians, okay? And the glory of his high looks, that's right. And they're ultimately going to be destroyed. Hey, Yahweh shot second coming because he's going to put down all power and uh, uh, wicked rule that's on the, that's on the planet Earth. As of right now, Sulaki, pertaining to these Edomites because they uh, have been given uh, uh, rulership over here for a certain time, but that, that rulership is coming to a uh, close. You can tell uh, uh, these Edomites they're being found out. As the wicked, okay. As the rape, rob, and murder of the earth, uh, all those uh, those things that they have done to us is going to be done to them. Only uh, two times worse, okay. All right, uh, let's see what we got here. All right, all right, Jeremiah fifty-one twenty-four to twenty-six. Okay, come. Okay, Jeremiah 51, 24 through 26. And I will render unto Babylon, which is America, and to the inhabitants of the Chaldees. That's uh, referring to these uh, Amalekites, these uh, elite bankers, which are Edomites, okay? All their evil that they have done in Zion in your sight, said Yahweh. That's right, and the hopeful leg of Barat Zama, the hopeful number, is going to see the downfall and the description of our enemies, okay? But ultimately, those uh, Amalekites, those uh, international bankers, they're gonna be the first fruits in slavery. That's why they're gonna be preserved, okay? And once the elect come back down uh, off that uh, fathership, or those chariots, they're gonna get these uh, international bankers and uh, put them in chains. And I've brought this out, they hope for no one to uh, uh, carry out that task that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai uh, was set for in that in that particular time. Okay. Abarat Azar. All right, Jeremiah 51 25. Behold, I'm against thee, O destroying mountain, which is America, said Yahweh. All right. These Edomites, which destroys all the earth, and I will stretch out mine hand upon thee, which is Yahweh Shai, and roll thee down from the rocks. It would make thee a burnt mountain because ultimately those thermonuclear missiles are going to tear America up. It's going to leave it desolate. Okay? That's why it's not a, uh, 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 in your best interest to make America your rest. Return to your power so you don't uh, 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 be partakers of her plagues, which is those missiles and concentrate laser fire from those chariots. Okay? All right, verse 26. And that they not take of thee a stone of a corner, nor a stone of for foundations, but thou should be desolate forever, said Yahweh. And that's also talking about that uh uh Obadiah 1 and 18 when all these Edomites are rounded up. Okay. Gonna be desolate, it's gonna be no more Edomites. Here. They call Lord you blah about some of y'all was shy. I can't wait. I can't stand looking at you damn devils. 
okay? But ultimate, uh, Sulaki. <laughs> Coming through the spirit, Sulaki. Man, you damn devils got to go, man. They got to go, all right? All right, last but not least, we want to get Obadiah 1 and 10. Okay. Con. All right. One of the reasons for uh, Edom's punishment. That's right. You so-called white people, you got to be punished. What you have done for the children, you done to the children of Israel. Because you have not done anything for us, but oppress us. That's it. All right. For thy violence against thy brother Jacob, which are you Israelites. Okay. Same Jacob with thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever. And that's right. They're, they're being, they're being shamefaced. Their children being, uh, 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 walk down on, you know what I'm saying? Are you uh uh people asking questions? Who who are these people that they done uh these blacks, Latinos, Native Americans like this? You know what I'm saying? With, without excuse, they just did it just because they had an everlasting hatred towards you Israelites. But they're gonna be cut off, and that's why it's important to uh return to your power. You uh so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, which are Israelites, turn to your power because it's going down, okay? But well, it's going to end this lesson. We're going to end up by saying, Shalom, Kuan Yasserala, Wabak, Shabak, Shabak, Shah, Yabashim, Yabashah, Kuwami, Yawala, Yazah, Nawah, Haji, Yama, El Ahim, Yahuwama, Zat, Yahim, Wabak, Shabak, Shabak, Shah, Yabashim, Yabashah, Shalak, make a bottom out of woman, Wahab, Shah, Wabba, Baba, 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 Shalom.